It's a little-known fact that Prince Charles, the eldest son of Queen Elizabeth II of Great Britain, who was married to Princess Diana from 1981 to 1996, had another affair before that. He met with the sister of his future wife, Sarah Spencer, but in 1977 their affair suddenly ended, and Sarah publicly rejected the prince. Few people know that it wasn't Princess Diana, but her older sister Sarah Spencer, who was supposed to marry Prince Charles. You will find out why the young couple broke up and how Sarah Spencer's fate turned out. Who is Sarah Spencer? So who is the mysterious heartbreaker Sarah Spencer, who for all her life remained in shadow of her more famous sister Lady D? Why she rejected such an eligible groom and how her fate and relationship with sister turned out to be. Sarah Spencer is the eldest daughter of Earl Spencer's family, whose ancestors were once of the royal blood. Sarah had a younger brother, Charles, and two younger sisters, Jane, whose real name was Emily, and Diana. The marriage of children's parents wasn't a happy one, as according to rumors, Spencer beat the mother of his children, who was 12 years younger than him. They had a divorce, after which children stayed with the father, John Spencer, who set the goal for himself, no matter the cost, to intermarry with the reigning royal dynasty of Great Britain, the Windsors. There were two Windsors brothers looking for marriage, Charles, the eldest son, and Andrew, the youngest. Originally it was planned that the eldest of Spencer's daughters, Sarah, who was implicitly said to be the most beautiful, interesting, and the smartest of them, would marry Charles. The romance between Prince Charles and the eldest Spencer's daughter developed rapidly, and soon the media began to write of her as being none other than Prince Charles's bride and future Princess of Wales. But then, something happened. What exactly happened no one knows for sure, though there are several theories. Prince Charles and Sarah Spencer, who rejected who? According to one of them, despite the fact that Sarah and Charles were often seen together, even looking like a couple in love on the photographs, the young woman did not hide her true attitude to the prince and openly said that she did not love him. As royal biographer Jenner Parker quoted her, he is fabulous as a person, but I am not in love with him. He is a romantic who falls in love easily. Our relationship is totally platonic, I think of him as the big brother I never had, and if he asked me I would turn him down not quite romantic. There is another theory, Charles was really in love with Sarah and she loved him too, but then one day she inadvertently spoke out in public that she wouldn't marry anyone she didn't love, whether it was the dustman or the king of England. She probably just meant that she loved Prince Charles not for his title or royal blood, but for his personality. However, seemingly having heard prince and a dustman in one sentence and not bothering looking into context, he himself rejected Sarah, Penny Jennert leans towards the first version, in which it was Sarah who rejected Charles, but it's the second one people talk about the most. Perhaps it got popular after the marriage between Charles and Sarah's youngest sister, Diana. Sarah's father, discouraged by her act no less than others, quickly played the cards right and betrothed Charles to his youngest daughter, who at that time was only 16 years old. Spencer wasn't bothered by the fact that Charles was 15 years older than her. He perceived Diana as the last chance to intermarry with the royal family. Some media claimed that Prince Charles was outraged not so much by a dismissive statement about his royal origin, but by Sarah's other interviews, which she gave to journalists in an informal setting and during which was way too frank. For instance, she openly said that she was suffering from anorexia and alcohol addiction. She also said that she was very sophisticated in matters of love and couldn't even count how many young people she had before Charles. Finally the young girl didn't shy away from the fact that she was extremely flattered by the increased public attention to her due to a new romance. Sarah collected notes from the press dedicated to her and boasted that now there would definitely be something to tell her grandchildren. The fate of Sarah Spencer after a quarrel with Prince Charles. At the time when Charles started fully engaging with the future Princess of Wales, Sarah had already managed to arrange her personal life and married Neil McCorkadale, the son of a famous Scottish cricketer from whom she had three children and with whom she is still married. Sarah, now McCorkadale and no longer Spencer, never spoke publicly about the marriage of Charles and Diana, but upon learning of their engagement, allowed herself a completely harmless remark, jokingly calling herself Cupid. Everyone was relieved, as they realized that Sarah didn't hold a grudge against her younger sister. On the contrary, the women had a great relationship. They continued to communicate until the death of Diana, often traveled together, and some biographers claim that Sarah knew about Diana's personal life much more than others. She even supported her sister for having other men besides her legal spouse. However, Charles also kept up with Diana, and in the end, their relationship was completely open.
If Sarah and Diana had any quarrels with each other, it would have quickly become public knowledge, just like it happened with their middle sister Jane. While Diana was becoming more and more disappointed with Charles and his entire family every day, having written about unbearable loneliness in her diaries, the husband of her older sister Jane became close to the royal court, which Jane was very proud of. Diana even accused him of listening to her phone. During that feud, Jane sided with her husband, almost completely ceasing all communications with her sister in 1990. After the death of Lady D in 1997, Sarah became the president of the Princess of Wales Memorial Fund, which lasted until 2012. To this day, he maintains warm relations with her nephews. She was present at the wedding of Prince William and Kate Middleton in 2011, as well as at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle wedding ceremony in 2018.